Hey, Lise, you still upset about that jazz guy? Mm. If it helps, I believe that after you die, you can come back as whatever you want. I'll be a butterfly. How come? Because nobody ever suspects the butterfly. <laughs> butterfly, Bentley. No! 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 Bentley! Bentley! What's up, everybody? Man Bear Cow here, back with another video teaching druids how to get the Rune of Instinct, which will teach you survival instincts. This rune is fairly simple to get. You'll just have to travel to a couple different locations and you won't have to fight any elite mobs or even any mobs at all. Although you will have to enter some areas with level 30 to 40 mobs nearby. And one of those areas will be in Stranglethorn Vale. So don't do what I did and try to collect your item during the middle of the Blood Moon event. But hey, even the Blood Moon event didn't stop me from completing this task. And if I can do it, so can you. And the first thing you're going to want to do is head to Swamp of Sorrow. And this is an area that you may not have been to yet. If you are an Alliance Druid, your path will be fairly straightforward. You will head to Darkshire in Duskwood and just follow the trail east, following the trail through Deadwind Pass. If you are a Horde Druid, you will start at Gromgol Village in Stranglethorn Vale. You will follow the main trail north out of Stranglethorn Vale and into Duskwood. Then you will have to find your way east making a detour around Darkshire. Continue east through Deadwind Pass until we reach Swamp of Sorrows. As you enter Swamp of Sorrows, follow the trail as it curves north and then continues east. At the fork in the road, you will take the southernmost road. Continue following this road east, keeping an eye out on the north side of the road for an undead character named Amaralis Webb. So you've met my little menagerie. They are my unlife's work. I've spent countless hours studying them, their anatomy, their diets, even their social rituals. I must say though, there's nothing like the thrill of finding new specimens. I used to delight in scrounging for them through all manner of muck and grime, but I rarely get the opportunity these days. In that sense, my little brood is both a blessing and a curse. Because they require so much attention, I cannot travel beyond the swamp. Well, I could help you find new specimens. Fancy yourself an entomologist, do you? If you're serious, I can rent you some equipment for a few silver. A small price to pay for the thrill of the hunt. Purchase an entomology starter kit from Amarless Web for 50 silver. Inside the starter kit, you will find a field guide and a bug catching net. I mean, what would a role playing game be without a bug catching net? The field guide will give you some information, but the bug catching net is really what you need and I put the bug catching net on my taskbar for easy access. Now, we will need to catch some bugs. Butterfly Bentley. No! 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 Bentley! Bentley! Aw, poor butterfly. But you never know. That butterfly could have been up to something deviant. Perhaps Bentley saved the world, and we are all in his little doggy debt. The butterfly would be the perfect accomplice. Because after all, Nobody ever suspects the butterfly. <laughs> I didn't burn down the school. It was the butterfly, I tell you. The butterfly! He's crazy, boys. Get the taser. <laughs> that Bentley isn't savage. He's a gosh darn hero. So now we will travel the world of Warcraft catching bugs. Three of them, to be exact. You can catch them in any order, but I'll show you the order that I caught them in. Oh, but before we do that, you'll want to continue following the road east until you reach Stoneard. Uh, that's for you Horde characters. Stoneard is a small Horde settlement where you can find a flight path. And you'll want to pick up this flight path so you can return here easily when you need to turn the quest in. So grab that flight path and then make your way to Desolus. Smack dab in the middle of the Desolus, we will find a Kodo Graveyard. Within the Kodo Graveyard, you can find little critters known as Flesh Picker. Well, that sounds lovely. While avoiding the mobs in the area, throw your bug catching net on a Flesh Picker. You will immediately receive a Flesh Picker specimen in your inventory. One down, two to go. Oh, and while you're in the area of the Kodo Graveyard, you might want to do yourself a favor and pick up a quest that will help you collect another rune. Head to the northwest section of the Kodo Graveyard and you will find a small plateau. On the small plateau, you will find an extinguished campfire. Right click the extinguished campfire to pick up the quest, 
Highway Robbery. After you pick up this quest, you will follow the main road north out of the Kodo Graveyard. The road will curve east, and once it begins to curve north again, you will leave the road and find a small goblin settlement. Next to the house, in a fenced off area, you will find Bibli Futzbuckle. Turn in the quest Highway Robbery with Bibli Futzbuckle, and then pick up the quest On the Lamb. On the Lamb will send you to Booty Bay, but that's a task for another video. To follow the rest of that quest line, you'll want to watch my video for The Rune of Eclipse. That video will teach you everywhere you need to go and everything you need to know to collect your Rune of Eclipse. And when you finish collecting your Rune of Survival Instincts, if you followed my guide, you'll already have part of the Rune of Eclipse taken care of. But let's continue searching for the Rune of Survival Instincts, shall we? Up next, we will head to Strangle Thorn Vale. And this was the most difficult part of the task for me to complete. And part of that is because, like a dummy, I had to go out there catching bugs during the middle of the Blood Moon event. Which meant that not only did I have to dodge the high level mobs in the area, but I also got ganked a few times in the process. But as I've mentioned before in another video, I wouldn't join a PvP server if I was afraid of being ganked. Being ganked is just all part of the challenge for me. So head to the northern end of Stranglethorn Vale, and just west of the entrance to Zolgarub, you will find a Venture Company logging camp. And in this location here, just to the southeast of the logging camp symbol on your map, you will find a tree stump. And on that tree stump will be an Arbor Tarantula. Throw your net on the Arbor Tarantula to collect the Arbor Tarantula specimen. Two down, one to go. Next, we will head to Arathai Highlands which means you will likely need to go to Tarin Mill or South Shore in Hillsbrad Foothills. We will be heading to a farm called North Fold Manor in the northwestern corner of Arathai Highlands. If you're coming from Tarin Mill, you can head due east, crossing through a broken portion of the wall into Arathai Highlands. North Fold Manor will be directly in front of you. On the west end of the farm, you will find a barn with an open front. Inside the barn, on what I assume is a bed for some livestock, you will find a hay weevil. Catch the hay weevil in your bug catching net to receive the hay weevil specimen. So when I caught my hay weevil specimen, I was done with all three bugs, and I thought I was being clever by heading back to Tarin Mill, flying to Undercity, and taking the Zeppelin to Gromgol Village. From there, I took the flight path back to Stoneard in Swamp of Sorrows. But now that I'm thinking about it, Perhaps saving the Stranglethorn Veil bug for last would have been better. In any case, we have all three bugs, now we return to Swamp of Sorrow, taking the bugs back to Amaralis Web. These are simply delightful. Look at the four legs on this one, the coloring of this one's carapace, and this one's mandibles. I underestimated you at first. You have quite the keen eye for a layperson. Please, take this. A favor begets a favor. Amaralis hands you a rune. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must return to my research. You've given me much to study. And now we have received the Rune of Instinct. Right click the rune and there we go. We have Survival Instincts. When activated, this grants you 30% of your maximum health for 20 seconds. After the effect expires, the health is lost, usable in any form. In addition, you regenerate five rage every time you dodge while in bear form or dire bear form. 10 energy while in cat form, or 1% of your maximum mana while in any other form. Not too bad. I don't know if I'm going to use this one over dream state unless I plan on going feral, but right now I'm really enjoying being a boomkin. Okay, okay, I'm technically just a balanced druid. I don't have my moonkin form yet, but we'll get there. If you found this guide helpful, show us some love down below in the comments. And you might want to consider joining the channel with a monthly membership. Memberships begin at $2.99 and are a great way to show your support. You can also earn exclusive perks like early access to videos before they're released to the general public. And in phase two, we're definitely going to have a lot more runes to discover. And you're going to want to follow this channel so we can help you find those runes. So do yourself a favor and smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we release new videos. This is Man Bear Cow signing out, saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.